both had decisions to make on whether you wanted to come back for another year or wanted to go ahead and turn pro. An opportunity like this to kind of bridge the gap for that, how much was that a factor in, in the decision process? Um, not so much. It wasn't a big factor in, in the process for real. Um, it's really a blessing that, that it did happen. Um, you know, puts us in a, in a good position to be able to be businessmen um, at a young age. So just kind of uh, maneuvering and, and growing throughout the years, um, it'll definitely benefit us in the long run. How about for you? Was it a part of your decision process? or? Uh, my answer is similar to Hendon. Uh, you know, obviously I just like to play the sport of football, and my dream is the NFL. So opportunity like this, I'm more than blessed. But ultimately, um, you know, I kind of made a decision based on other factors. Uh, but like I said, I'm, you know, happy to be part of the Team Spire and, uh, you know, being able to market myself and brand myself and ultimately uh, kind of start the foundation of what's to come. So I guess it's got to be nice, though, that those days of, you know, going to bookstores and stuff and you see a number four and a number five jersey and yeah. everybody knows uh, who, it who it is, yeah. but you're not seeing a penny from it. I mean, I've got to think as guys who put this much into the game, it's it's a nice perk to have kind of like have that level out a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it is. It's a nice thing, but, um, you know, like we said before, you know, we really just love playing the game of football. Um, and everything else is icing on the cake. How do you learn to sort of separate those two things? Because you start playing the game because you love the game, right? But everybody's kind of a brand now. I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is, and especially when you get to the pros, you know, you got to take care of yourself and all these things. How do you start that process of sort of like, I didn't get into this for this necessarily, but it's kind of nice. Making the, the main focus the main focus. So keeping football first, keeping God first. Um, you know, everything else is, like I said before, is icing on the cake. So that's secondary to the, um, the prior goal and making it to the NFL like we're trying to do um, and win football games at the end of the day. Yeah, kind of how do you divvy up that time? Because you got a lot on your plate. You got school, you got football, you got this. And keeping the priorities, you know, first, how do you kind of divvy up that, that time? Um, you know, you got to have help. So a great support system. Um, you know, our parents are tough on us. They make sure that we have everything scheduled out and make sure we're staying on top of our, our priorities. So, um, you know, by, by following your schedule and keeping the main thing the main thing, everything else will fall in line. Said, why, why Spire? You know, why this group in particular? You spoke on it a little bit, but what sticks out about, you know, this group here? Um, just being able to market myself and brand myself, I feel like they gave me the best opportunity. Uh, after speaking to you know some of the guys in the organization, uh, at, me and my family felt like it was best uh, to join. So, uh, like Hennis said, you know, like it's a great opportunity, but keeping the main thing, the main thing.